Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us understand what exactly is rotational symmetry. So an object is said to have rotational symmetry if there is a point around which the object when rotated by some angle, the object looks the same. So let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Okay, so let's say that this is an object that you have or this is a shape that you have. Basically, two, it, is, it is like two sticks which are joined at the center. And let's say that this point marked in red, this is our center of rotation. So we will rotate this entire object about this point. Perfect. Now let us rotate this object in the clockwise direction. So this direction is clockwise, right? So let us rotate it clockwise by 90 degrees. So if I rotate it by 90 degree, how the shape would be? So the shape would be somewhat like this. Now let us just mark a point just for our reference. Let us mark this point as A, this corner as A. So the moment it gets rotated, what happens to A? The A comes here. So the A actually moves here. Right? So this is the second position that you get on rotating by 90 degrees. What do you think would happen if I rotate it further by another 90 degrees? So basically from the initial position, I am now rotating it by 180 degrees. In that case, what would happen? Where will the A move? So the A first, by first 90 degree, A moved here. By second 90 degree, A should move here. So the point A would be somewhere here. So basically, why are we writing this point A? Just to show you that it has not actually come to its original position. So the end which was here is now here. But in such an image, there is no A, B, C, D, right? All the ends are identical. So if you just look at this image, Number one, this image and this image, are they different? No, they are the same. So we have just written A to show you that it is not exactly the same thing, but the shape of this image is exactly identical to this one, right? But have we completed 360 degrees rotation? No. So we have just done a rotation of 180 degrees. So just after 180 degree, we see that the object looks the same. So this object and this object, they look the same. So can we say that this object has rotational symmetry? Yes, because between 0 degree and 360 degree. That is why when we say that when rotated by some angle, that some angle should be greater than 0 degree and less than 360 degree. So we see that between 0 degree and 360 degree, how many identical positions do we see? This is one position and this is another position. So we see two identical positions. So therefore, we say that this object possess rotational symmetry. So it is because of these kind of objects, the concept of rotational symmetry has come into being. That's because any and every object will show identical position on a complete rotation. That is after being rotated by 360 degree, all objects will show identical positions. But only some objects will show identical positions when rotated by some angle which is less than 360 degree. So this is one such example. So we can say that this object or this shape has rotational symmetry. So I hope that this concept of rotational symmetry is getting clear to you. So any object will have rotational symmetry only when you rotate that object by some angle such that for an angle less than 360 degree, the object have, object possess identical positions. So let, let us take more examples so that you know the concept will become clearer to you. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.